and welcome to a new vlog. Um, my family is visiting for the holidays. So I think we're going to be doing quite a lot of uh, touristy stuff for the holiday season. We're going to be going around New York. We're going to be going to a whole lot of like landmarks. Like we really want to go to the Rockefeller Center. And because it's our first Christmas in New York as well, I think it's going to be really exciting. So I thought I would bring you along with me for these few days. Show you New York if you haven't been here before. Um, do quite touristy stuff, but actually because I think it's a new place for us too. It's going to be really, really fun. And the city is so beautifully decorated for the holidays. that I think it's going to be really fun to take you around. So without further ado, let's get straight into this vlog. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I upload a video once a week and I would love to have you back on the channel. So today guys, we are actually going to Radio City. It's actually a bit later in the day to start the vlog. Um, it is about six o'clock now, but um, I only just realized we were doing this today and I thought, you know, it would be really, really fun to vlog it. So if you don't know about it, Radio City is like a music hall. It is a real kind of landmark in New York. It's been going since 1933. I think pretty much every tourist that comes in town um, wants to see it. And they have a beautiful Christmas special show. And my mum was really keen to see that. So she's come, um, my dad's not here yet. Um, and I think we're gonna go see it today and it's gonna be really fun. We got really good seats, I think as well. So I'm excited to watch that. So we're gonna be heading out now and I thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day. Uh, my makeup is my usual, really simple, brown smoky eyes with a nudie kind of lip. I'm loving my Bite lipsticks, I'm obsessed. Um, I think when I run out of this one, because it's quite a small one, I will definitely be getting another one. Um, and my hair definitely needs coloring, but I don't have Despina here. So if you have any recommendation, guys, for not getting ashy color, um, a good colorist here in New York, do let me know in the comments down below, because I really need one. Um, but I'll quickly show you my outfit of the day, and then we're gonna be heading out. So for my outfit today, I've kept it really simple. It's not that cold in New York, actually. Um, so I'm wearing this jumper, which I absolutely love. Um, let me just, just gonna leave my hand back there so you guys can see it better. Um, it looks a bit awkward here because this is kind of stiff, but in person, it doesn't look like that because here it just makes me look a bit kind of awkwardly shaped, um, but in person doesn't look like that. It's got a beautiful tweed front, quite multicolored, which is really unusual for me. And then it has this beautiful frayed edge. And then here it's like a beige normal jumper, really, really soft. And then it has like a jumper neckline, um, but I love it. And then I'm wearing my blue leggings and my black um, suede ankle boots. I think I might get um, a black pair of leggings. These ones are navy, but I think with this jumper actually they go really well because they have the little blue stripes as well. Um, and this one is just so gorgeous. I think it would look really nice with a shirt underneath as well. And then I've got my Dior um, handbag. And I'm just gonna pop a coat over the top of this. And then over the top of this, I'm wearing this beautiful coat that actually my parents got me for Christmas and it's so gorgeous and so soft. Um, and it's really nice because it's got like a good length. It's not too long, but it still is gonna keep me nice and warm for these crazy winters. Sorry about the mirror, guys. It is a little bit low down because I've switched it around and put it in my bedroom, but I still need to put it up on the wall. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna head out now and I will see you at Radio City. I'm so excited to see this one. Pouring down, so we just come for a quick 
bite. So we've come to a place called John's and the food is sort of American fusion sort of food. So um, I've been here once before and it's really lovely so excited because I'm super hungry. And then I think we're just going to head home after that and I'm sorry about my hair guys. It looks like a total mess because of the rain it just risks up no matter what I do to it. Hey guys, so I am back home. The weather is literally awful. It's been raining so, so much, um, but I've been nice and snug in my coat. Um, and actually, it's not that cold. The show was so beautiful. I loved it. We had a really yummy dinner. And I think now I'm just going to take my makeup off and head to bed because I'm really tired. And I will see you in the morning. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. So we are heading out for lunch we're going to a place called Misra which has become literally one of our favorite places here we've been to the one in Dubai as well um, and it's really amazing it's basically just meat mostly um, and it's by this chef he's a Turkish chef he's become really famous he's called Salt Bay so most of you will have heard of him and um, his restaurant the meat is just I've never ever tasted like steak that's so tender and delicious um, I'm not a huge fan of steak actually so I was super impressed when I tried this one so we're heading there for lunch and then we might go um, to the Met Look at the beautiful Christmas decorations in this room guys um, I really like them, they're really simple but they look so cute Look at the gorgeous Christmas tree, the decor in here is absolutely beautiful to watch them cook the meat. Look at that fire. This is one of their speciality dishes, guys. It's um, they meat sushi. So this is meat and it's done with a bloat meat and inside it's got potato and avocado cream. It is so good. Hey guys, I thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day because it's a really good mirror here at this one. I'm wearing these trousers by Massimo DT, my Louis T's my ankle boots. I was going to wear shoes but, because they look better, but I thought we could have to walk quite a bit. Then I've got my dual handbag, quite casual, and this Zara jumper, which I absolutely love. I don't know if you guys have seen this one before, but basically it has like this really nice fit around the sleeves and the neckline, which is like a little bit textured. Um, and it looks really nice. I really like these trousers. They're very, very comfy. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. We're going to head to the Met now. So a little change in plan, guys. I went home and got into this... Um, because I was feeling a little bit cold and I got some jeans on and some flats. We decided not to go to the Met today because there was a huge queue. I think we're going to go during the week so we just come to Fifth Avenue and I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, see all the Christmas decorations because some of the stuff done by the stores is so gorgeous. Um, it's just my mum and me, my husband got a bit tired and he's headed back home now so I think that will be really fun. Look at the um, windows at Bergdorf's guys. The decor is so impressive. I think this one would definitely be a 10 out of 10 on Christmas decor. I love the horses and the black and white theme. And then more cakes in here. This one looks a bit like lingerie. So gorgeous. And this one's like a fully white one. <laughs> Very futuristic with the robot. Gingerbread theme. I love the bear, it's so cute. This is like a disco theme, so cool, so 80. Look at this gorgeous gown by Armani, looks so beautiful. And even the suit is really stunning. And Gabbana with all the pastries and cakes, looks so beautiful. I love this one. They always say over the top, it's so gorgeous. And we've come to do the most touristy thing in New York, guys. We've come to Tiffany's. Um, I, I believe they've opened a cafe here where you can have breakfast, so you can actually have breakfast at Tiffany's. So I think I might come with my mum one day, but yeah, the shop is so gorgeous. I love the Christmas decor. They've done these like giant robots. It feels so Christmassy. Look at these um, things they've done with the boxes. So cute. Good morning guys! We have come to do a bit of touristy stuff around New York and we've come to see the World Trade Center. As you can see I'm all bundled up because it's really cold and I wore a hat for the first time. I'm not really a hat person, it's like more of a headband um, than a hat but I'm not usually a hat person but it's really cold and I'm appreciating having my ears really warm because I get really bad ear pain otherwise. But yeah, we have come to see the World Trade Center, might pop into Century 21 
um, but yeah, that's the plan for the day. Here's the monument that they built here at the World Trade Center. It's amazing, I hadn't seen it. The last time I came to New York, the Twin Towers were still up, so you guys can see how long it had been before I'd come. Big inside, it's, it's actually really amazing. I love how it looks from the inside. Very impressive. Very clinical as well, very complex, very, very impressive architectural detail. Hey guys, so I put my hair up because there was so much wind outside that it was going really crazy. So excuse this hair because I don't think um, it really looks the best on me. But we're at Century 21 now and if you don't know about Century 21, it's a discount store. They have like kind of very high-end brands and also premium high street brands at really, really, really affordable prices. So um, we've just taken a few bits. I'm looking for a jumper so there's a few bits that I want to try on but I'm so impressed. The store is so huge and there's a lot to choose from. A lot of stuff obviously that doesn't fit that I don't like there is a huge selection so you're bound to find something so if you're looking for kind of the high-end brands at really affordable prices it's a really great place to come see so you guys it's an absolutely huge department store and it's kind of organized by brands but also by sizes um, they have a lot of stuff here they have lots of European brands they also have American brands it's absolutely huge dress by this brand called John and Jan is so cute it's like a knitted dress, which is so in, but I have a really similar one in like a powder pink. And I think it's so gorgeous. Cute. It's in like a big size, but I think the dress is so cute. This little leather jacket from Theory is also so cute. It has a um, peplum detail on the back, which I think is so cute. It's very thin leather though, so I think this would be great to like layer under a kind of vest, like a furry kind of vest. It would look really cute. Uh, leggings from Theory, and these ones are um, they went from $9.95 to $3.99 and I think they've got such a gorgeous colour. I might try these on because they're so cute. They're very similar to my navy blue ones but in like a very dark sort of forest green which is very very cute. I'm really obsessed with this little jacket from Pucci. I think it is so elegant, so gorgeous. It would look amazing over a dress, over a jumpsuit. I think it is just such a classic piece. I love the green and this little embroidery detail down here is just so beautiful. And this one again, amazing price. It was 1920 and it's now 239 It is just such a gorgeous piece. I love this one. Um, I might try it on, but I'll see if it fits over my jumper. By a brand called Rami Arabella. And this is leather, um, but with a laser cut. And then this is knitted, and I think it is so cute, so gorgeous. Um, it's just such a beautiful um, jacket. And then they had this one, which is also gorgeous and stunning. I think this one, like for my mum, would look so nice. I love the combination of the cream and the black. And it's like a long jacket and i think this one for like um anything actually be for like a lady who wants to cover herself a little bit up in like a chilly evening or wants to dress a little more modestly i think it is a gorgeous gorgeous piece my jumper is obviously not the best thing to wear under this but as you can see guys it is such a gorgeous little jacket i think this one over like a little white dress over the summer or something like this it could look super super cute a little bit shorter so I think that with a um, you know with a pair of trousers it might look a bit weird but if you're wearing like a like a high waist pair of trousers it would look super super gorgeous this jumper guys is also super cute I love the little pocket details I think this one as an oversized fit jumper is super super cute I might try this one on so this is the first item I've tried on and it's a little jumper from Rochers um, it's a French brand if you don't know it and I absolutely love it I love the color it's like a cornflower blue um, and it's in a really thin knit I really like the detailing around here the little puff on the sleeve I think it really kind of um, broadens my shoulders and it makes my silhouette look much better and then it's kind of shorter on the front and longer at the back and it has this little slit here which I think is so cute so trendy I think I'm definitely gonna take this one and just so you guys to get an idea of the price it was it's 84% off it was 
$800 and it's now $124, which I think is an awesome deal for this little jumper. I've now tried this one on, which is a really nice knit. It's actually kind of a beige and black, but it is really, really huge on me. I wanted to go for something oversized, but I think this one's a little bit too big, but it's such a shame because I really liked it. They even have sunglasses and eyesight glasses as well, which is insane. I didn't know they had this. I really like these ones by Givenchy as my um, glasses, um, but I think we're kind of in a rush now, so I think we're going to leave, but they have a load of them and really amazing prices. We've just come out of um, Century 21, guys. I let my hair down again. Um, and look at how beautiful is all this Christmas lighting behind me. Isn't it so gorgeous? Um, it looks so, so beautiful. So we've just finished lunch guys and we're out, we're going to go see the Rockefeller Centre which I guess is a super Christmas classic and it's really just really because we've gone up past here and there's these like Christmas walls, they look so gorgeous. I'm just going to turn the camera around. My forehead, my love lit Christmas trees, they look so gorgeous. So we've come to see the Rockefeller Centre guys and we've seen that it was actually are doing a light show because they're putting on the lights. show you my outfit of the day because I didn't get a chance to show you earlier. So I'm wearing my top from um, Lily Silk. I love this blouse. It is in a really beautiful kind of copper color and you can actually wear it as like a pussy bow tie but I've decided to just wear it kind of open like this and then I'm wearing my Ferragamo belt, my culottes and these new boots by Aquazura which I'm absolutely loving. I got them in today and I tried them and they are so comfortable. They have an eight and a half um, centimeter heel which for me is usually quite a lot because it's quite thick they're very comfy they're kind of knee length and I love them with the culottes I think they look so trendy and then I've got my little Fendi bag which I need to give you guys an update about actually um but yeah this is my look for today I really like it it's actually quite glamorous but at the same time it's got a bit of an 80s vibe with this belt um and yeah but at the same time, it was very comfortable, actually. And I love the culottes with the boots. I saw Olivia Palermo wearing something like this. And I thought it looked so trendy that I wanted to try it out. So, guys, it was so nice. Um, we went to see the Rockefeller. It was so crowded. There were just 
so many people and they were lighting up um sacks i think the lights outside and they do like a little musical show there were so many people with kids kids were absolutely loving it um but it was really beautiful to watch and it was worth going through all that craziness um and it finally truly felt like christmas um but yeah a little update on my fendi bag which is right here i wanted to let you guys know because basically i bought this bag and it was just before i left london so i didn't actually use the bag for would say over a month and a half until I came to New York and I got settled because basically we were just kind of moving and looking for an apartment and I didn't get a chance to use the bag at all. When I did actually get around to using it, I realized that it had like a little mark in the inside, which I will show you just now. And I took it to the Fendi store, obviously thinking that, you know, it's an international brand with a, you know, international warranty. And obviously this was a manufacturing defect because I had never used the bag. I took it to them, they took it in, all the plastic wrapping, everything was intact in the bag. And it was in the box um, and I took the receipt as well. I purchased it from Harrods and Harrods had a no return policy on this. But obviously that wouldn't include a manufacturing defect. But obviously I couldn't take it back to Harrods because I was no longer in England. So I gave it to Fendi and they took it in and they sent it to Italy to get the bag checked. And they said, you know, we'll try and repair it for you. Um, it was over a month and a half that they had it, I think, or at least a month. And then I went back to the boutique and they told me they couldn't repair it. And they would also not give me a new bag, even though this one was faulty. Um, because they said, obviously, they couldn't verify um, that, you know, this hadn't been done by use. And I was like, but the bag was intact. And then they said, yeah, but it's because you purchased it outside the US. Um, if it would have been in the US, we would have been able to help you. And anyway, it was just such a horrible experience overall. I then came back and I wrote to Fendi. They told me, you know, write to the headquarters and see what they say. So I wrote to customer service headquarters. They looked into my query. They asked me for my receipt. And then again, they came back to me and said, we can't verify that this is, you know, a manufacturing defect. And obviously it cannot be prepared. At which I was really, really upset. I mean, this is a beautiful bag and I love it. But I would not recommend anyone buying anything from Fendi because the treatment by the brand has been horrid in the sense that it is such an expensive bag, it is real pipe and skin, it is so pricey and you know a bag that is faulty needs to be replaced and what's the point of purchasing from an international brand if they are not going to offer you an international warranty and you know fix your problem no matter where you are. I mean telling me that if I would have purchased it in the US it would have been different but what's the point of it being an international brand then? Because if I can only purchase something that I can replace in the UK, then I wouldn't go for something like Bendy. I would go for a local brand. So I was actually really disappointed. And the fact that they were questioning whether I had done this while using the bag, when they saw that the bag was all in its packaging and everything and the store could verify this was really upsetting. So my recommendation to you guys would be that as beautiful as the Bendy bags are, I would not recommend anyone purchasing anything from them. And I'm sorry about this rant. You guys know I try to be super positive on the channel and I never really rant about anything, but I really had to let this out because I was so upset and I just don't want anyone else to go through a similar experience, especially when you're paying such a premium price for a brand of this caliber. But anyway, enough of a rant for today. I think we're just gonna go and watch some telly now. We're really tired, we've walked quite a lot, which I'm so impressed with these boots because normally with heels, I cannot walk for more than like five, 10 minutes. And we've been walking for over an hour, which for me in heels is crazy, which comes to shows these boots are so comfortable, but Aquazura shoes always, always are. Um, the quality is great and the design is just beautiful. So I would always recommend them um, if you were looking to buy a good pair of boots. Anyway guys, well that was my little update for today. I hope you enjoyed coming to see all the Christmassy stuff around New York with me. Um, like I said, I think I'm just gonna take my makeup off and we're just gonna relax and watch a bit of television and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Hey guys, so we've come to the High Line now to check it out with um, my parents, but the gardens are not so nice obviously because it's really freezing cold and everything is really dry, but the views of the river are amazing from up here and it's super freezing as you can see, I'm all bundled up. Um, but I think this in spring will definitely be super gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous view here and it's gonna be about sunset now, so the sky it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the view here guys, it is beautiful and look at the sunset, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous view. And from here we can see the empire.
Empire State Building with the lights. It looks so beautiful at night. Look at how beautiful um, this building looks lit up. We've just come for a walk to Wall Street and we just saw this on the way. It looks amazing. Now we've come to the stock exchange and look how beautifully lit up it is. Um, usually these colours represent something I believe but I don't know what the red and green is. And then there's this beautiful Christmas tree back there which looks so gorgeous. And now we've come to see the famous Ball of Wall Street. It is here guys. I've never actually seen this one before even when I visited New York. And I'm going to go and touch the balls, balls if I can say that on YouTube because apparently it gives you luck and brings you money. And here it is guys behind me, the ball. And this behind me is St. Paul's Chapel. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around actually so you guys can see better. It's so beautifully decorated um, on the outside for Christmas. And then I believe somewhere down here is the town hall. Hey guys, so we're gonna head out for dinner and I thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the night. And I'm wearing this new jumper I got from a brand called Isaac Azani and I absolutely love it. It's in this burgundy color and then it has these furry sleeves which are so, so cute. I think it's such a way to jazz up a really kind of simple basic jumper and it just makes it look so much more glam and so much more interesting. I love the fact that it's got like a drop detail around here and um, the sleeve is kind of really um kind of oversized and very got a very chilled vibe to it then i'm wearing my little pendant from um i think it's called lay urban layered or something like that the brand was called i got it from etsy and then i'm wearing my black denim from acne my bulgari bag and then my ankle boots by um mascara which as you guys know i am wearing pretty much all the time and yeah i love this outfit i think a very simple outfit but because of these sleeves it just looks so much more fun and interesting um, and i love the pieces from this brand i will link all the details for them down below um, but i have featured it in some of my instagram posts and also um i think there might have been something on my christmas gift guide if you haven't seen that i will link that on the screen now although um there may not be around a lot of the stuff that i featured on there but you might enjoy it if you need to make any other gifts but yeah i just absolutely love this jumper and i think it is so cute and so cool and they have it i think in like a lighter peachy color now for this season um so i will definitely link everything down below so you guys can go and check them out because um the the wool as well is so soft i usually find a lot of different wools itchy but this one has a blend of cashmere and merino wool i think um so it's really really soft oh and i also love that it's a little bit longer on the back i don't know how well the camera is showing that but it's a little bit longer and it has this kind of like detail at the back and then it kind of I've tucked it in at the front but it's anyways a little bit shorter at the front than it is at the back so it looks very very cute. Dinner now I think we're gonna go to the Armani restaurant so I'm excited to try that out. Guys so we've just come to the Armani restaurant for a little family lunch. Um, it's so beautiful I love the decor it's got a bar back there and it's got these beautiful fairy lights it is so pretty and the food is Italian food and I think I'm really going to enjoy it so I'm excited to try it out. I've heard so many good things about it. here on Avenue. Look at how gorgeous those fairy lights are um, and I've heard the food is amazing. It's an Italian restaurant and it's here on Fifth Avenue and it's so gorge. So I ordered the hamachi. Look at how beautiful the um, dish looks. And then we have this, which is an onion with truffle. Looks so cute, and that's um, salt on the side, I think. The food here looks absolutely delicious, but I love how colorful this dish is. And these are pistachio perfect rolls with dark chocolate over the top, and they look so yum. And then they have little matte lines here, and this looks quite crunchy, I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, Sky, this is just outside the restaurant because the Armani store is there and I love this staircase. I think they have Armani Home, Emporio Armani and Giorgio Armani here. Um, this is so gorgeous. I love this. Hey guys, so um, we're back home now. It was so lovely. I loved the food at the Armani restaurant. Um, and yeah, I think now we're just going to watch 
some TV and probably head to bed. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you had a good time going through the festive season with me um, and I hope you enjoyed going to visit a few of the touristy spots around New York with us. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I know a lot of you have been automatically unfollowed by some weird glitch on Instagram so please go to my profile and make sure you're still following me because I do post on there quite a lot. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!